Hi there, welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of unique homes and showcase stories of people living alternatively. Today we're featuring adventure seeker Juliana and what some might perceive as her extreme lifestyle because she lives full time on the road in her Overlander SUV. And a lot of people think it's hard to do this, but it's so freeing and it makes you feel alive. And that's what I love. The choice to live this way has allowed Juliana to explore some of the most scenic and rugged areas of the United States. And along the way, she's found a job that supports and even encourages this type of lifestyle. If you like alternative stories like this, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know every single time we publish a new video. But right now, let's meet Juliana and take a tour of her Overlander SUV. Hey guys, my name's Juliana. I travel full time in my 2012 Toyota FJ Cruiser, and his name is Rec. I've always kind of been the wild child of my family. I'm this outdoorsy, nature loving girl, I've been wanting to live on the road for years. So I did it. I haven't looked back since. I started working for Onyx Off Road. So I do the trail guide. Basically, I drive dirt roads and send them information and that's how I make money. I've been living in it for about a year now. It can be difficult at times. Out here, you're taking care of yourself. You're figuring out how to survive without needing all of those amenities. And a lot of people think it's hard to do this, but it's so freeing at the same time. Yes, I'd like more creature comforts, but this gets me places where a bigger vehicle might not get me to. So it's a trade-off. I haven't really decided what the future holds for me, but I live day by day and I just go with the flow and see what happens and, and it makes you feel alive. And that's what I love. I got the FJ Cruiser in 2015 or 16, didn't even test drive it. I sat in it, I looked around and I was like, this is it. Like something about it, it hit me. When you get a feeling and you know it's right, you just know. And I sat in that and I knew it. I knew this would change my life and it changed my life. So I paid, I would say at least 50, just with all of the random things that I've done to it and things that I've switched out on it and the price of the vehicle. It is still not paid off and I send it like it's paid off. <laughs> So this FJ actually has a name. Its name is Rec, which is actually short for recycle because everything on the FJ Cruiser is either recycled or discontinued or discounted. So I like finding deals and stuff like that. He's a 2012 Toyota FJ Cruiser. It's almost 200,000 miles on it now. The FJ Cruiser has a 4.7 liter V6 and mileage off-roading I get like eight to five. On road, I get anywhere from 13 to 15. I make a joke. I say, I don't overland, I overload. I am way over gross vehicle weight. This is the Amazon snorkel. Funny story, I installed it horribly wrong. The hole saw wasn't cutting. I used a Dremel. It is not pretty under there. You do not want to see under that snorkel. <laughs> the lights are held on by zip ties. That's okay. This is held on by Zip ties, that's okay. <laughs> uh, even the headlights are actually held on by zip ties and gasket sealer. Cause I took a Jeep headlight and I wanted to put it in the Toyota. I just glued it in with gasket sealer. It works, whatever. <laughs> this bumper was used too. It had to be sandblasted and repainted, but I got a killer deal on this bumper. Killer deal. Same thing with these rigid lights. They're discontinued, got a killer deal. Hence his name again, Recycle Bin. <laughs> I like stars, cause I'm a star. Star of the show, no. <laughs> so a lot of people are curious, what are these colors right here? It's actually a group I joined for lady driven Toyotas. And these are the colors that they chose to have to represent a female driven Toyota. I'm sure it's funny too. They see the girl colors 
And then if they look into my windshield, they see the fart zone and they're probably very confused. Like, wait, why is there girl colors? And then it says fart zone. This girl must have a sense of humor. Ha ha, I do. <laughs> Bison gear, roof rack is brand new to me. So it's still in the process of being put together. We've got some storage boxes on there and you're probably wondering what's on top of the storage boxes. Those are solar panels. So I've got two 100 watt solar panels up there. So I have 200 watts total. <laughs> Normally there would be a shower tent right here, which is normally where I would go to the bathroom or change. You find yourself really, really missing the city life when you don't have the amenities. You really are like, wait, I don't have an actual bathroom and it's raining outside or it's freezing cold. Like I was just in zero degree temperature and not having like running water or a warm bathroom to go into uh, was difficult. I thought I turned that on silent. <laughs> hey, but we have cell service out here. So, I mean, you do have some amenities. <laughs> this is my command center. So I have a tablet for when I'm trail mapping so I can see the map bigger. The dash is a really good flat surface, but it's bad for me because I like collecting stuff and putting stuff places and so this is literally where my camera gear normally sits, <laughs> but it's easy access. Like, oh shoot, I wanna get a film. This is the battery capacity. This is switches to all my lights. Fun fact about the FJ Cruisers, there's three windshield wipers. <laughs> so let's hop out now. I'm going to show you the most interesting part, which is the bed. To get to my bed, you've got to move the seat forward first, as far forward, with force, you flip this down, you flip the bed down. Now you have to organize all eight pillows that I have. Yes, I have eight pillows in here. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> I don't think you're ready for how horrible this is. <laughs> you gotta do one leg here and now yoga. I just squeezed into this tiny, tiny little space. Now to get situated, is another hassle as well. Blankets. And then the pillow down there is what I sleep with. And now, I'm gonna go to bed. I literally cannot sit up in bed. I actually sleep really well, so I actually like, that's why I have so many pillows. I like almost being cocooned in like a little coffin, is what I call this. I call this my tiny little coffin or my cocoon. I wanna sleep like this. And it's actually really comfy. You guys can come back later, okay? I'm gonna take a nap. I'll be, you, you just close the door, you know? I've got the Kmar dual swing out. I made this little container, which there's nothing in it now because I'm in freezing temperatures and I didn't really wanna mess with ice blocks on the back of my rig. Same thing with my lifesaver, it's unfortunately frozen, so I can't really use water right now, which is what this is. So this is my drinking water only. I keep it in the rig so it doesn't freeze. So that's all I have for water right now. If you're like me and you spill a lot, this plugs into there, you plug it here. So now, if it's charged, let's hope it's charged. Water. Ta-da. That's simple. Let's open it up. In the back here is a lot of stuff. These are shower baskets that I hooked to the window and they actually handle all this dirt, bumpy roads. They've lasted me forever. Spice racks, gotta have the garlic salt. Table, I built this myself. I wanted a table that was big, but took up the space of a single table. So I designed this. So if you want, it's a single small table, right? Or it's a big table. Just uh, some paracord, some wood, some truck bed liner, good to go and a strap to hold it in. Like that. The platform that I built, which has kitchen stuff inside here, there's no slides, it's just friction. This one's the fun one. Are you guys ready to watch me struggle? This is where all my food is. 
A lot of people say I carry too much food. You can never have too much food. Okay, there's all my food. And you gotta put it back. So this is my power setup, which I did all the wiring myself. It's an aux beam that runs to a fuse panel, which is right here. And then the solar runs into it as well. And this is what runs everything. So let's pull the fridge out. I'll show you the fridge really fast. It's heavy, so you gotta be strong. You pull it out. So if you wanna get into the fridge, you only pull it out halfway. You get into the fridge section. If you want to get into the freezer, you gotta pull it out a little bit more. And now you have access to the freezer. Most days I make not fancy meals. <laughs> I like the simple stuff. So I've got a backpack stove, a propane tank, and a sandwich toaster. You hear how crispy that is? That's a good sandwich. On the spare tire is my Oscars mobile hideout, which I use for my trash. Now you're gonna see the passenger side. It's organized chaos for me, so just bear with me. <laughs> this is Taffy's stuff under there, her food, her bed. This is my computer and editing stuff. This is more food. So this is my snack bin when I'm driving and I wanna have some snacks. So dirty laundry, socks, clean laundry, which again, organized chaos. In order to get into something, I have to remove something to get something, but it works for me. I've got a Jackery for backup power just in case. This here behind is hard to see, but it's actually my shoe rack and there's access to the shoes. So these are all the stickers that I collected over the years and I put this here to block it so people can't see in the window. Uh, it's getting a little bit sunny out. I think it's time to open the awning. Gotta put that up. So you gotta stand on the tire to do it. And there we go. Like look at this shadow it cast. It's good for when it's raining. It's good for when it's sunny out. When I first went on the road full-time, I was terrified. Challenges and adapting to them and learning from them is where I found my confidence, where I found myself, where I found my inner peace. I know a lot of girls, I hear them say, well, Julie, how do you do that? Like, you're such an inspiration. I'm so scared to do that. I don't want you to be afraid because you are a woman. You gotta have your common sense, of course, and you've gotta be aware of your surroundings, but once you're out here, you realize there's not as much as you need to be afraid of. I wanna do it, so I'm gonna go do it. So not only is this a vehicle, it is almost an extension of myself. Imagining getting rid of this vehicle is like getting rid of a piece of me. I definitely feel this lifestyle fits me 100%. This is where I belong. Thanks for watching this week's video. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon with another unique home tour.